हेलो स्टूडेंट टुडेज टॉपिक इज मोबाइल डिवाइस ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम वी नो दैट इन ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम ऑफ कंप्यूटर ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम इज कनेक्टेड टू द ऑल द रिसोर्सेज हार्डवेयर एंड सॉफ्टवेयर डिवाइसेज हार्ड हार्ड डिवाइसेज एप्लीकेशन मॉनिटर प्रिंटर माउस कीबोर्ड ऑल वीज टुगेदर आर द ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम ओके बट वी वॉन्ट टू एक्सप्लेन द मोबाइल डिवाइस ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम द ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम वर्क एज अ मीडिएटर बिटवीन द हार्डवेयर एंड द एप्लीकेशन सॉफ्टवेयर एंड द यूजर्स है ना ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम इज अ मीडिएटर बिटवीन द हार्डवेयर एंड द एप्लीकेशन सॉफ्टवेयर it provide the interface between the user and the computer run application okay and the operating system process functioning as a interface connecting user with the application software and hardware and it also run the other programs these are the basic things of the operating system <clears throat> operating system control different components of the computers and allow the user to interface with the computer they perform the memory management they are responsible for security ensure that the unauthorized user do not access the uh, system as we know that we are, we interface with the operating system through the set of command as a uh, previous day for the dos operating system we contain the command such as copy and rename for the copying the file and the changing the name of the file now mobile operating system mobile operating system is the operating system that runs to run other application it is help to run the other application software and the mobile devices for the mobile operating system it include Symbian OS, iPhone OS, BlackBerry, Windows, Android. There are lot of operating system which is used in the mobile operating system. It combines the beauty of this is the this is the beauty. It can it combines the beauty of computer and the hardware user devices. It typically contain a cellular build up modem and SIM tray. for telephony and internet connections because a mobile is a very small device it can combine the computer application as well as a sim the operating system entire operating system of the mobile is divided into two parts that is a monolithic and the micro kernel in monolithic the entire operating system works in the kernel space in the monolithic system it increase the size of the kernel as well as operating system this is different than the micro kernel system whereas the minimum software that is required to correctly implement the operating system is kept in the kernel see monolithic uh, system architecture in that there are two types that is a user space kernel space okay user space consists of application and the libraries whereas kernel place is consists of the files inter process communication io and device management and functional and fundamental programming management and then it finally consists of the hardware means a kernel is used to distinguish between the hardware and the software okay here whatever the application user wants to run that application will be first of all to run the application first of all it get the kernel space and from the kernel space only it has a access to use the application uh, so each and every application required a kernel space to operate the system okay and then it is connected to the hardware devices features of the monolithic operating system simple structure this this operating system has a simple structure all the 
com all the components needed for the processing are assembled in em embedded in the kernel work for the small task it works better to perform the small task as it can handle the limited resources communication between the components all the components can directly communicate with each other and also with the kernel fast operating system the code to make a monolithic kernel is fast and the robust okay a limitation code writing for the operating system is very difficult and the monolithic os has a uh, more tendency to generate the error it generated the error and it has a very less space adding and removing the features of the monolithic os is very difficult all the code need to be rewrite and recompilation to add and remove the features because it is a first type and only a small changes are to be required to generate but the code written for this one is very difficult so to remove and add the things is very difficult by using the monolithic okay the examples of the monolithic is are linux os open v vms these are the some examples of the monolithic then the different then the next type of operating system is the micro kernel micro kernel kernel is the core part of the operating system which manages the system resources it also act as like the bridge between the application and the hardware and the computer and the application and the hardware of the computer it is one of the first program located on the startup see the kernel is divided into the cpu memory and the devices application here okay again the kernel space here kernel space is divided into the user and the kernel total kernel space is divided into the user services and the kernel services user services are kept in the user application user services are kept in the user address space kernel address space services are provided in the and the uh, kernel address services what happen so as the user uh, and user applications are run in from the user space only and the kernel as a internal work it will be done in the kernel and this and the kernel space only so that there is no interface between these two so the work is not affected by this one the system is uh, operating system is well and no burden will be comes on the totally on the one services the services are the space of the kernel will divided in the uh, different types and which is connected between the application and the hardware devices okay okay this is for the use advantages of the micro kernel the uh, the architecture of this micro kernel is small and isolated hence it can be function better Ex uh, expansion of the system is earlier it is easy to add the system application without disturbing the kernels okay what is the difference between the micro kernel and the uh, monolithic kernel so basic difference is the uh, large process running in the single address space it can be broken down into the separate process called as a services code uh, in order to write a monolithic kernel less code is required whereas in order to write the mono micro kernel more code is required security if this if the service crashes the whole system collapse in a monolithic kernel if the if the service crashes it never affects the working of the micro kernel communication single single static binary file several communication through the p i p i i p c example linux then os microsoft window 9598 whereas these are symbian integrity these are the example of the system okay thank you